This video caught my attention a few days ago while I was aimlessly scrolling through that CC behaven that is TikTok and activated a switch in my mind that I thought was switched off forever long time ago. Well, the Austrian painter's art really that bad that he get kicked out of art school to become the dictator the modern world agrees to despise today. Or the judges of that art school were too harsh on him. And of course, this video is obviously not to glorify any of his actions, he's a garbage human. So, away from him being someone everyone should be spitting on, what I'm aiming for today is an objective look on his art, so... The Enno is a melting pot of cultures and ethnicities, attracting people from various corners of the empire and beyond. This diversity contributed to a vibrant exchange of ideas and artistic influences. You can describe it as an intellectual hub, with renowned thinkers, writers and artists congregating there. It was home to figures like Sigmund Freud, Ludwig Wittgenstein, Gustav Mahler and many others who pushed the boundaries of their respective fields. And you don't need to look further than the town square everyone was screaming on the top of their lungs in, that is art. Secession movement, expressionism, symbolism, all screaming, we are here. And in that city and atmosphere, the Austrian painter saw a place his career as an artist is going to bloom. So, he dropped out of secondary school after his father's death who was trying to put his son's life on a good track, left his dying mother to suffer in Lance alone during his last days after he took a ton of her money and went to Vienna to become an artist. Something that never happened and to know why, let's give a look to his art from around that time. The years Hitler lived in Vienna weren't the best in his life, and in there, not only his artistic ideals formed, it also happened that there started his political and racial agenda, as some of the political movement there wanted to unify all German-speaking countries under one large empire. But back to art, Hitler applied to the Academy of Fine Arts two times, in 1907 and 1908, but was rejected on both occasions, due to his lack of artistic talent, and the council informed him in their rejection and given a look on his art from that era, you can see it. It is just buildings, something amateurs used to do. Nothing is alive, nothing is given feelings, nothing is original. You can't see his touch on anything. And even when he gave it a try and captured a picture of a moose by a river, look how it turned out to be. At the first look, you might think that it is a normal painting. The trees are good, the mountains are good, the river is good. But when given a look to the main object of the painting, the moose, you can see what I mean. That is not how the eyes should look like, and that is not how a moose neck should look like. Unless you slaughtered it, it already and reattached the head again to draw it. And a look at the painting of Vienna's opera, all he could capture was just the building itself. People were an afterthought just some shadowy figures, even some of the buildings he couldn't do right, such as this one called the old building and stands of trees. Look at the tree's lack of detail, these twigs are holding together by some form of dark magic, and the building itself suffered a lot from inability of drawing proper windows, something that my OCD makes me hate every moment of looking at this. Want to see my OCD triggers getting worse? Wait until you see his lack of proportions! Oh boy, not going to an art school while doing appearance ships really did him dirty there. And these two paintings are gonna explain to you a lot of what I mean. What appeared to us here is supposedly a beautiful yellow howl that can be soothing, but as you move your eyes, first thing that is gonna capture your attention is the window in the town corner. Why is it facing me? Well, this is a side view, not a facing one. And why the window that is beside it hiding behind the stairs? And mentioning the stairs and taking them, what kind of door is this? Who lives here? A giant, a Bigfoot, a Yeti, and why the door down is facing me? It should be a freaking side view. So, leaving this one 
and looking at the other, that perspective with the painting is also incorrect. The part of the building that is on the right side of the canvas isn't standing. It is doing a pizza tower. It's about to fall. Also, the line of the windows that are closest to the roof aren't aligned. They are getting closer and closer to the roof from right to left. With the windows on the left side of the building, being not the same size and it's getting a rise out of me. I can't take this anymore, so let's, let's just move on. While I was doing my research for this video, I fell on two articles from the Telegraph which I will leave for you in the description. They were mentioning that there were exhibitions made to show and even sell some of Hitler's paintings that were in private collections. And I wanted to mention this to ask you, what is your opinion on this? Do you think it's morally wrong or not? Should you look at art for it being art or not connect to the artists? Or that it should be connected to them? To me, at the scale of being the most hated man to on the earth and a war criminal, yeah, it's very connected. And you can't mention his art without mentioning how awful of a human he was. Cause guess what? This mediocre art wouldn't have been sold, especially at that price, without it being tied to him. The Vienna Art School Council didn't fully blow inject him. They redirected him to another route actually, architecture school. As much of his work anyway was cityscape, yeah, mostly buildings. But that is a type of art. It is supposed to be studied in art school. Why won't they accept him? And the point the board made is that his art is soulless. They point to his technical skill and ability to capture the atmosphere of a scene, but it is just left at that. His technique was competent, but he lacked originality and creativity. And people he drew were like stickmen. Like, look at this one. This one too is called Surf Portrait. That is just a stickman with extra sips. And when he tried to capture life, it wasn't quite right. It was at best mediocre and even sometimes creepy. The one painting that had people with real man's eyes with obvious facial features is very bad. The man's right leg is obviously broken and the face of the woman can fit in a creepy 50s advertisement or something. And of course, not going to start mentioning how bad the frame of the window was and its shutter being very small compared to it, that issue of dimension we mentioned before. That is why he wasn't accepted. And in addition to this, why didn't he enter architecture school, you might think? It is still a prestigious place, and you can engrave your name in history books with building that you design. And the answer to this is that he didn't finish high school, do you remember? So he wasn't qualified to apply and raged on from that point to become the dictator we all grew to hate and despise.